Now, Manik Bhattacharya, TMC MLA, who was questioned day before yesterday for 14 hours by the Enforcement Directorate, has been once again summoned today. He will be questioned in connection with the SSC scam. Now, remember, day before, he was questioned for 14 hours, a very long period of time. And the, he's also another TMC MLA who was under the scanner in connection with the SSC recruitment scam. That is the latest information that we have in connection to this story where another TMC MLA is essentially under the scanner. Now remember, the other latest developments are that Mamta Banerjee has finally cracked the whip on Partha Jat Chatterjee. Remember, he's one of the main accused in the SSC scam and he was sacked as the West Bengal minister as well as from all of the other posts that he held in the TMC. And Arpita Mukherjee, his, his aide, uh, multiple flats of hers have been raided by the enforcement director as well. And they're also planning on conducting raids on a third flat that is also linked to her. Uh, so far, mountains of cash and gold have been recovered in two raids so far, taking the total amount recovered to more than 50 crore rupees. Now, when this decision was made to essentially sack slash suspend Partha Chatterjee, Mamta had essentially said, I have relieved Partha from the ministry. This is what Mamta Banerjee said. She also said that we are a very strict and strong party. Now, I'm crossing over to my colleague Shikoto Mukhopadhyay to give us more details on the latest development. Uh, Shikoto, we are getting inputs about how Manak Patacharya, who has now been summoned once again by the ED, give us more details, please. Well, you see, Manik Bhattacharya was initially uh, uh, in the uh, in the radar of the um, of both CBI as well as the um, uh, as well as the Enforcement Directorate. And when the raids were first conducted uh, on the 22nd of July, uh, the uh, Manik Bhattacharya's residence was one of the uh, premises which the ED had then searched. Um, uh, he was, however, not arrested on that day. Following which, day before yesterday. Uh, uh, Manik Bhattacharya was called uh, to the ED office, uh, summoned and questioned for a good uh, 14 hours or so. He was uh, he was only um, uh, allowed to go uh, late in that na late in the night, uh, a day before yesterday, um, uh, when that uh, when that haul of cash was happening at uh, Arvinda Mukherjee's second residence in the Belgoria area, uh, in the fringe in the northern fringes of Kolkata. Uh, on that very day, he, he had, uh, had had told, uh, or rather given, issued a fresh summons uh, for Manik Bhattacharya to reappear uh, before the the agency uh, today. And accordingly, uh, Manik Bhattacharya has been summoned again uh, today. You see, the, the role of Manik Bhattacharya is very crucial according to the agency investigation uh, because uh, he is a WBCS officer. Uh, at one point in time, he was... Uh, a very close uh, associate in terms of the government functioning of of, of Parto Chatterjee when he was uh, the the education minister of the state. Uh, uh, Manik Bhattacharya had remained uh, uh, his secretary, uh, um, if, uh, and, and and obviously the ED has reasons to believe that he has uh, vital information uh, that the, uh, the that would come handy as far as the ED is concerned. Uh, in, 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 in in investigating this case, uh, also uh, you know uh, the, the the enforcement directorate had a full day of questioning as far as uh, 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 Part Chatterjee and Arvita Mukherjee is concerned, and we are still uh, you know having this information from our sources in the directorate that uh, although Arvita Mukherjee is is far more um, accommodating and cooperating in terms of uh, the questions uh, that the ED has. Uh, for her, uh, part of strategy uh, still remains evasive. He is uh, still giving vague, vague replies, uh, and, uh, and and he is not, um, you know, uh, ex uh, absolutely cooperative as far as uh, the, the the questioning and the examination examination sessions of the ED is concerned. As a result of which, uh, Manik Bhattacharya, uh, who has been called uh, today again, uh, would be vital in terms of cross-checking some of the information that the Enforcement Directorate has been able to extract from both Arvita Mukherjee 
and uh, the little bit of information that it has been able to extract from Partha Chatterjee as well during the course of its questioning yesterday. And it remains to be seen whether uh, the uh, the agency today uh, takes that uh, you know step. There has been a buzz that Bhattacharya may also be arrested by the agency. Uh, however, that has not happened. It remains to be seen how uh, the thing, uh, how the how the how the session of of this particular session of questioning pans out as far as Manik Bhattacharya is concerned. Back to you. Absolutely, Shagoto. Thank you so much for providing us with all of that information. We will continue to track the story, but for right.